Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord, and today I have some pretty awesome news for you guys on the PlayStation 4 console regarding mods for Fallout 4. And for some of you guys who are awaiting really, really good mods for Skyrim Remastered. Now, of course, most of you guys should probably know by now that Skyrim Remastered has just came out, and judging by your tweets, my friends' reactions to the whole game in general, the remaster, it looks like it's a huge success, even for those on the PlayStation 4 who don't really have that good of mods just yet. Now, I am looking at the Bethesda.net mod creation page, and I can see a clear, huge difference from how many mods there is on the PS4 side of things compared to the Xbox One and the PC. Currently, right now, whilst I'm recording this, the PS4 only has 43 mods available for that console, the PS4. Now, if we look at the Xbox One side of things, it has already skyrocketed up into 120 mods available to download right now for the Xbox One, which is a huge difference. That just kind of gives us an example of how many mods are going to make it and how many mods are not going to make it onto the PS4 console, unfortunately. But do not worry, it isn't all doom and gloom as Bethesda just released their official creation kit into a public beta for Skyrim Remastered. Now what does this mean? It means that you guys on the PlayStation 4 console will see a whole lot of new mods popping up in the next couple of hours or even days. And I mean there's going to be so many mods showing up on the PlayStation 4 side of Bethesda.net. I can assure you that right now guys, that 43 mods is going to skyrocket up to 200 in the matter of maybe a day or even two. But I can assure you guys, you will get mods very soon. And I must not forget about my friends over on the PlayStation 4 console who are patiently awaiting Fallout 4 mods. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an official date for when mods are going to be available for that game, but a lot of people do ask my opinion on the time space. And I would say it's going to be around about another three or four weeks until we get to see mods on that game, on the Fallout 4 game for PlayStation 4. And as I said earlier, you know, the fact that the creation kit is now in a public beta for Skyrim, this means that Bethesda can actually focus all their effort into Fallout 4 mods for PlayStation 4. You know, it's a, it's a win-win situation, it really is, because they no longer actually need to update Skyrim. Unless they're doing a mod menu update or some kind of graphical fix or bug fix, um, that's pretty much it. They don't need to update it. They've updated it years ago and it's in a pretty nice state that they are comfortable with to actually release to the public. So now they've completely done with Skyrim Remastered. They are going to focus on Fallout 4 console mods for the PlayStation 4 and their other IPs that they've got in the works, you know? So yeah, guys, I just wanted to tell you this and it's pretty great news for all you guys on the PlayStation 4 and that you don't have to wait much longer for great mods to actually show up on your Skyrim Remastered mastered and your fallout 4 also i would like to remind you guys that i will be doing console mods for both games and yeah that's pretty awesome you know you guys like the console mod series i like making them so yeah anyway guys i hope you have a fantastic day and until next time i've been star lord i'll see you